Now that you have the basic structural elements placed in the model, you can review some of the output available from the model, such as the drawing. In this exercise, you will learn how to open the drawing views and review the drawing information. From the Links tab on the Explorer dialog, navigate to the Drawings folder. Note that this project now has six drawings, the four architectural drawings, and two new structural drawings. The seed file used when creating this file has a foundation plan and framing plan drawing already set for the model. So these two drawings are models within this file and can be opened from the view group pulled out. From the Manage View Groups tools on the lower right of the interface, select the view group foundation plan. This will open the model of the foundation plan drawing. This plan is a cut view of the model referenced to this drawing. The cut plane would be just above the footings. Zoom in to one of the footings. The line color, weight, and symbology are all determined by the family and part assigned to each element. Note also that the column, pier, and footing are all labeled based on the type ID property and size that you assigned when placing them. Structural rules are used to extract this information from the model and use it in the drawing annotation. While structural rules can automate much of the drawing annotation, additional annotations, such as notes and dimensions, could also be added in this model. Select the view group Roof Framing Plan. This will open the model of the Roof Framing Plan drawing. Zoom into the columns and beams that frame the platform canopy. Note here that the structural rules are not only used to add the annotation, but in the case of the steel beam, it is re-symbolized to a single line representation. In fact, additional information is extracted from the model. The top of steel is not a property you input, but simply calculated from the beam's position in the model. The annotations can be moved as necessary to make the drawing more legible. Select the view group Sheet 1. This will open the model of the sheet. This is a sheet model with a border file attached and each of the drawing models referenced and arranged on the sheet ready for plotting. In this chapter, you have modeled the basic structural framing for the station building and canopy. You have modeled columns, beams, and footings and coordinated their placement with the conceptual architectural model making the necessary modifications. The geometry and information that was modeled in the 3D model is now reflected in the 2D drawings. In the next chapter, you will model the architectural elements of the station building. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.